Are we in trouble? Oh, no, not at all. I was just taking the opportunity of intermission to tell you guys what great hecklers you are. You must practice a lot. No, nah, not that much. Just on the internet only. You know, my posts on NCIS and CSI Miami chat rooms are legendary. You're kidding. I've never seen you on there. You wouldn't, because I post as NCI sucks or NCI stupid. I'm the Bexter on the Entertainment Weekly chat room. And my curly hair and Cairo Twitter account help bring down Mubarak. Technology has allowed us to be brutally cruel without suffering any consequences. In the past, if I wanted to tell someone they sucked, I'd have to say it to their face, which would usually result in them kicking me in the groin. I get it. We live in a culture of insults. I mean, we're constantly bombarded with these images of people who are richer than us and happier than us and have more interesting sex than us, and it makes us feel terrible. Preach. You know, we tear them down to feel better about ourselves. And we don't just stop with the people who are on TV or in magazines. We do it to everybody. And we think that because it's done anonymously, there are no ramifications. But there are ramifications, guys, because it makes you comfortable with insensitivity. Do you know that one of the girls you heckled tonight has been crying for an hour? Are you saying you never ragged on anybody? Oh, of course I did. I spent three years sending hate mail to Debbie Gibson until she wrote me back and said that the stress of my letters was giving her alopecia. And then I felt terrible because I realized it was just my jealousy that she could fill a mall with her adoring fans. You guys are great kids. Some of those insults were rad. But just think about how you could lift up the world if you turn some of those barbs into roses. I mean, intermission's almost over. Why don't you get back in there and turn some of that jeering into cheering? Nah, nah, I think I'm just gonna go home, probably do a new post about how handsome Mark Harmon is. Me too. I'm out. I'm splitting too. They say if you have nothing nice to say. I'll be 18 in three years. Wait for me.